lightsaber just to kind of help you get into these fights a little bit thicker when you do throw everything through. And yeah, I mean, there's the Oriana on the opposite side, but yeah, I think PSG talent, like when Oriana was a threat, you're now putting Aphelios as a very close. He's coming in with an accelerated shock glass over the side here, so they could be very, very caught out as like Xenum now go for it, but they're getting a lot of damage on the Wacko. The feathers don't come back just yet though. The turret is still doing damage. First blood goes over. It's a one for one. Both supports picking up kills. Yeah, they kind of know it. They are going to be able to kind of move themselves away. Bit of spider manning. They will get the double knock up, but a root underneath the tower is not ideal. Sayo gets crashed backwards. Not quite able to get the root. And that's just an easy little pick up here for the moment. They're going to look for a flash here onto the mid lane. They're going to try and jump in on top of this one. It was a good hook there to try and bring back Junja. But the shockwave, as he got knocked back, Miru is going to fall to this ignite. That's Woody picking up his second kill. Very quick dragon, as you see. No. So that's where it could be a little bit dangerous. But yeah, they'll be able to take it. And now I'm looking at mid lane as Junja going to steal away the Raptors. Opportunity for more than likely just going to back. Yeah, very likely that the jungler could have just went straight mid after taking that dragon of the uh, global kind of call as such. But now kind of turning that from top lane, or sorry, from mid lane to top lane. Now we are going to see Bong getting rooted down, didn't get the CC away from it, tried to go all out, tries to get him underneath the tower. It was almost a good thing, but Miru does TP in, now trying to find out where this rumble is going. Will be able to eventually find him, you imagine, but taking a fair bit of damage by ignoring Junja. There's the shockwave, does finally land, and they will be able to trade back one for one. Good. Very, very quickly and lean over towards the Rift Herald with the numbers advantage that they have, but with the resets coming through, they're not in a position to do so. So PSG now are going to get Dragon. They should get good damage. I think they should get bot terror off this play, but also, I mean, even with the position that they're in, you can see Miru not really going to be able to hold on because Junja can try and threaten a potential dive here. And there's just nobody from R7 here to cover. Oh, Miru could be in a lot of trouble here. He needs to walk forward a little bit, but no, just get hit up. There's going to be a TP straight away. They're tanking the turret straight off it. The shockwave does come down, but it's just too easy. Hotel up top lane, there's TP in, but I mean, what way can you already make this one work? You're in a 2v3, not really in a position for it. They will drop down the equalizer, the all out, just to bring Junja underneath the tower. He has to flash away. There's going to be the ultimate put down of the Wako, who has no cleanse. A flash forward because the minion was standing in his way. A flash away by Wako, who finally puts down the ultimate. Moonlight Vigil does pepper down this damage, good infernum damage. But I mean, it's PSG just kind of winning. It's, it's R7 playing reactively, and unfortunately, it's not working. Yeah, it's just the reset timers. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. I mean, this is kind of just like like a walk home now for PSG. Yes, you've got this incredibly strong um, pick in the Oriana, but even G's had to opt towards a Banshee's Veil, which Side because the map, I know how this movie ends, but this time Miru is also going to go for a Shockwave comes in just to delay it, but it's the same result every time. And again, Bong comes in. Damned if they do, damned if they don't. And it, PSG are just comfortable. Yeah, I mean, at this stage, I got engage. Yeah, engage comes in. They're going to get the ultimates out, but can they get the damage in? That is the question. The Nautilus goes down. The turret finally goes in. Oni does flash away. The shockwave, good to catch Wako. But right I mean, now, you've yeah, got, got a lot to try and re-engage onto this. The all out yeah, is there, but maybe just bait someone in. The vision control is in favor. PSG are just trying to get anyone into an isolated situation. 4,000 HP onto this Baron. Yeah, PSG do not want the 50-50 just yet. They're going to just keep peppering down these damage, and they know they can go for Bong because he's going to have to go all out. Junja takes a hell of a lot of damage, but he's able to walk away just at the last seconds. Everyone's just kind of moving in. It's a little bit of a 1v1 on the top side there as Lions joins back in. And now the Rumble's very isolated, not with his team. He may have to try to try and get out of this by his own, but he doesn't have Flash. He has nowhere to go, and he's overheated, which means he goes down. Bong. Picked over, and they've managed to survive, but now it gets more difficult. Well, that's a Moonlight Vigil that doesn't really go anywhere. They're moving on to Junjin now. They're going to have to commit more ultimates here. Shockwave Sombreros onto nothing. And now they can turn and burn back on, because Seo's dead as well. You've no consistent DPS, R7. They thought they had found someone to t kill off but they already target like I just feel like it's they're again clutching at straws looking for anything and everything that could possibly come out and give them some kind of an advantage as the tanks try their very darndest to kill this dragon as quick as they can but I mean trying to deal with a, like a Jace is hard enough with the poke but now we're on our combo and again PSG rinse repeat rinse repeat there's no need to go for anything else you just have to keep putting out that ultimate it'll be like you don't understand it you don't really throw it they're panicking and it feels bad but finally they look to try and make a play, but again, onto Junja, the tank. They're throwing everything in the kitchen sink at it, but now the knock-ups into the charm. Sales already lost his feather storm. And can they try to burn and burn this one? Finally, a good hook lands, but they've already got the stopwatch for Maple, this so he can delay it. Five. This is four versus five. The Rumble isn't even here. The Rumble's not even looking to join. 4v5, and PSG are burning them down. Wacko goes forward, and they're all 
all being taken out. Yes, the shockwave comes in onto one, but it's just too little too late. And this is PSG putting a marker in the play-ins. Four versus five, PSG Talon win the fight, and two and oh, they are going to take down or seven and deny them that opportunity at the two-piece on the international wings. I mean, PSG were the favorites coming in. Game one, R7 definitely showed a bit of life. Game two, they just looked lost, floundering. PSG got themselves warmed up, got themselves back into the series and really put down the herd. Really well done there from PSG. And they get themselves the expected result and expected how they got